Hi everyone and welcome to my email mailbox. This is the first vlog I'm recording so I'm a bit nervous but we'll see how it goes and maybe I'll like to it doing it so I'll continue doing it. Um, but anyway, um, in my mailbox is hosted by the Story Siren. Um, I'll post a link to her uh, blog below. And yeah, I'm going to show you what I got in my mailbox this week. So, first up is the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I got the uh, paperback box set because I prefer reading paperback uh, covers or uh, editions really. Uh, so I waited till this came out. City of Bones. With Stephanie Myers talking me. City of Ashes. And City of Glass. Um, I've been holding back on this series because um, I never really felt that it was a series for me. I saw it coming around and I read the synopsis and everything, but it didn't seem like books that I would enjoy. So I skipped over them like a billion times. I've seen them in store and everything, but they didn't sound like I would enjoy it. But I got... Um, Clockwork Angel and because it sounded good and I thought why not try the Mortal Instruments too so I picked it up it was only $15 so it wasn't really expensive so gonna see how I like it I've heard something about a twist in City of Bones please don't spoil it for me below in the comments I haven't read these books yet so if you spoil it for me I might have to kill you um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to reading these, but they're quite thick, I think, so it will probably take a while before I've read all three of them. Then, next up, Across the Universe by Beth Revis, with the very pretty cover. Um, I've read the first 111 pages when um, uh, Razor Bill made it available to... Um, Read it online and I loved it so I ordered uh, myself a real copy and it came in this week so I'm really really happy. And it has this cover but it also has the reversible cover so you can see um, what Godspeed looks like. Um, there's Amy in her cryo chamber. I'm sure I'm butchering the term. But yeah, um, the book has the same kind of thing on the spine, and it has the crest you can see of Godspeed here, which I like too. I'm not really a hardback, hardcover um, kind of gal. I prefer to read paperbacks, but some books I will make an exception for either because they're on sale or because I would like to read the entire series as soon as the next book comes out and I think this is one of those books um, it's too bad that it came already a bit damaged it's crooked here but yeah, looking forward to reading this one too and then I go, I'm really really late with this one and it's the same as with the Mortal Instruments series I was kind of hesitant and I read the synopsis and I thought, no way I'm going to read this, this doesn't sound like me, I'm going to hate it when I read it, so I hold out on it. But I read that everyone loved it, so I budged. The Hunger Games Trilogy by <laughs> Suzanne Collins. Um, I bought the hardback edition because it was... 25 euros for three hardback copies and I thought it was really um, cheap for hard, three hardbacks and I love how they made these um, this one's better circles so you can pull the books out easier I'm sure that you've seen that a billion times already 
I've got the Hunger Games. I love the covers, they're simple yet beautiful. I've got Catching Fire, the second, and Mocking Jay, which is the final book. I haven't really looked at what they look like without the dust checked on. Oh, that's pretty. And I have this on the side. That's pretty. The books haven't been opened yet, so I'm really careful with them because they crack when you try to open the cover. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this, and this is one of my goals to read this before um, July or my birthday in August, really. Um, I want to read the whole series. I want to know what the hype is about. And I'm kind of getting into a dystopian novel, so I'm really hoping this is one of the better series around here. So, yeah, that's what I got in my mailbox. Um, seven books. It was a good week. I didn't get everything in. I kept praying that the mailman would bring me more books because I have a lot on the way. But the mailman wouldn't listen. And he hasn't been here with the rest of my books, so they'll probably end up in next week's in my mailbox but yeah I'm really happy with the books I got um, tell me what you think of the books without spoilers please, please no spoilers um, and let me know what you got in your mailbox I'll see you next time, bye